So then, we are back with the modern understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original documents of the Hebrews of old, from the time of the old prophets of old, the prophets of Israel, giving us them bearings for us to locate ourselves in the future. So then we can relate with the prophecies of the end, mostly important at the very time that we are at, related with the rebuilding or restoration. It is absolutely exciting understanding the ways of Yahweh and remaining on His holy path because the future is set. Many countries and many cultures, they believe and they say, if you know the future, then you have the power. That's why Yahweh has the power from the start until the end. Because He knows the future. And he has outlined in his holy word, via prophecies, what comes in the future. So if you are a decent politician and you want to know what the future brings, read the word of Yahweh. Then you know the future. And that's precisely what then the prophets of Israel, they prophesy. They give the nations then bearings so they can position themselves. Very grateful that Yahweh has shown many of His holy prophets of old many visions, many understandings, so they could write and then give us the proper understanding of the future. And we are precisely during the time of the restoration. Not of this planet. It is the restoration of the second tabernacle services and then, as a bonus, as great Yahweh as He is, He gave them the nations. The nations, He gave them answers for their problems. As a bonus. He owns the earth. He owns the universe, the stars. He knows every star by name. It's absolutely amazing. And the problem is, in terms of the countries, when they are stupid in the dark, they don't know what to do. They are the blind leading the blind. They always think they can do higher than Yahweh's. And they always come short. And the tendency, because of the anarchy going on around the world... Countries and systems, they were scoundrelized, thieves, politicians, stealing, lying, cheating, falsifying, frauding. Then the natural factor in the future is stealing, of course, because the nations are in trouble. But then they always have a plan higher than Yahweh's. It's always amazing for the worst. There is. You have Europe breaking from the Euro. They can't control the system over there. There are countries then leaving their own positions to go to the other countries and overwhelm other countries. They get overburdened with people coming from other nations then. Job is scarcity. And when there is no job, then anarchy takes over. And then stealing is a way of living. And then those nations, they were always in trouble being blamed for. They are going to be blamed for it even more. So then Revelation then gives us a very interesting viewpoint because then when Yahweh is in charge and He then is very evidently working through areas of then this earth and giving them directives so they must understand His ways. But their leaders, they're always scoundrels. They always can think they can come up with the plans higher than Yahweh's. 
And so far it was a disaster. Blind leading the blind. The same old scoundrels, church is junk. Though they have the best of the intentions, but they don't understand the times and the seasons. That's the problem. If they were only churching around their junkies, if they were concerned then with the world's path and understand the path of Yahweh, at least they would understand the directives, but not even these they understand. And don't think those emerging countries, they are going very far. Because country with vast military resources, they won't try to impose their ways via military. And then the problem is, is not the factor of they themselves not knowing what to do, it's the fact of receiving products from abroad. Countries that want to have their own governments of their own must be absolutely 100% then productive of every kind of technological equipment and then technologies and science. Because broken countries with vast military, they always resort for force at the end. The only hope then the other countries have is only Yahweh, understanding His holy words. The situation in Africa, there is no resolution for them. Apart from the understanding of Yahweh's, they have no hope. That's why there was prophesied in Yahweh tabernacling beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Yahweh has decided the worst place on the planet. However, a people there are very honest. That's why he chose. But the problems over there, they only get resolved when it's done Yahweh's ways. If they think they can manipulate the future understanding of the prophecies, oh boy, they are mistaken. Because their nations are boxed in. Try to understand, when Yahweh makes a move, He makes a move always when the nations are boxed in. So His plan does not get frustrated, of course. He's the creator and author. He's the best. Developing countries, they can go so far. They have to have outside technology yet. As per such, Countries developed with vast military expansion, they are in control yet, for a limited time. Europe is boxed in with their own junkie of Euro. Nations are breaking, then they are invading other countries. In a short while, the country is invaded, they can go so far, their economy also breaks. Middle East is a war zone. The other countries being overwhelmed with people coming from regions in combat. Our country is nearly broken. 
China is the only big country truly leading the uh, end of the time trade. And the Chinese, they are only waiting for our economy to break in the end of the next 40 years, if we are not wise. And when countries are very low in resources, they begin to steal. They don't pay their dues anymore. Oh, but they can find a way out of it.